the one and only Adam, uh, my very good friend. I know Adam for one year, but uh, I feel that uh, I know him forever. I don't know. We yeah. we are talking a lot uh, also in our private time. We are talking about uh, his girlfriend, <laughs> in our my pri- wife. In our private uh, time, when our wives and girlfriends are asleep, we uh, get on Skype and chat. <laughs> 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 no, no, no! I said we are talking about them. We are talking about shopping and so yeah. on. But uh, yeah, very, very nice. Uh, um, what's up? How you've been? I was in vacation. How was your last week when I was in vacation? Was it full of profit like usual, or uh, was it so and so? Well, this, the Counter Strike. I've gone through two rough weeks of Counter Strike, um, but the Dota. Uh, TI9 qualifiers for last week. We did well in that. Um, so that kind of helped out. Wimbledon helped me out a little bit. But um, off to a good start today, which is all you can ask for. Um, so, yeah, you, you know, I think I think on the year, I'm, I'm, as far as profitable tournaments go, I think 18 and 7 or 18 and 8. So still above and continuing to grind. But sometimes we run into tournaments where, you know, th- like the Cologne tournament, Favorites won 75% of matches, which is way higher than their annual average. Um, so I, I, I believe in my method. I stick to it um, even through the rough patches. And as long as, you know, um, I, I like to preach um, high volume, small risk. So betting half, uh, half a unit, one unit, two units, instead of loading up on favorites for 5 or 10% of your bankroll, um, just sound strategy that is um, silly man who go. does that come on who does that 10 percent of your bankroll <laughs> Bankers, who does that? Block, tell me one person the <laughs> I, I blocked them i blocked those people that are uh, doing 10 uh, percent of their bankroll i don't want to see them in my face you, they you are don't very, need the stress very, very bad. the uh, distraction yeah i, I hear you <laughs> yeah man and i was uh, watching uh, some uh, counter strike uh, go matches uh, today uh live <laughs> Because uh, I have uh, also a smaller side job uh, uh, that I have to take care of. And uh, one of my uh, main stuff is to watch some uh, uh, Counter-Strike matches. Not that uh, I am betting on them on or stuff, but uh, I like to watch them because uh, it's the game of my childhood, you know. Uh, yeah. So uh, I always uh, love to watch a good... And I saw some great it... comebacks today. I don't yeah. remember the teams. But I saw some great comebacks today. Who was it? Tell me about it. Okay. So I was on, um, I posted this morning that I was on Luminosity to beat uh, Ints. They're two Brazilian teams. They know each other very well. Many of their players have played on the same teams as each other before. And on maps one and three, Luminosity had, I don't know, a four or five round lead. And... On both maps, they squandered it. And they were on the favorite side, the CT side of both Mirage and on Overpass. Um, So on that one, that was kind of hard to stomach. But I got to say, because I see this a lot of times with people betting CSGO. um, When a team has a lead, there's a kind of a uh, disposition that you assume the lead will continue to grow. That the winning team is going to continue to be winning simply be because they've been playing better up until that point. Unlike with, um, it, it's similar to tennis in that aspect. You know, you, you'll see in like female and male tennis too, but frequently um, women will get up to one or two breaks early in a match and all of a sudden they're in a tie break or they're choking in the second set when they had a match point. We, we get in this mindset that I made the right bet it should have won because they were close. And maybe that's true some some of the times. But you also have to accept that comebacks and break points back and saving match points, that's part of both tennis and counter-strike. And as much as I sometimes need to sort of spam um, Discord or Twitter to sort of get out the uh, frustration of seeing a team lose a lead, it is a part of the game. It's just the way the, the, the scoring is set up, that round differential, it sort of returns to a mean of teams getting within a certain range to each other. So it sucks to be on the bad side of a comeback. It's awesome when your team delivers, but uh, just got to 
sort of keep the level of emotions through the ups and downs of that. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, from a neutral point of view, you love uh, an underdog or you love a team who is uh, coming from behind. It makes uh, you, how say, feel uh, their energy somehow, you know. Yeah. I, I see them every time after a, a frag, you know, uh, clapping with each other, saying, yeah. wow, you did a great job, man. Way to go. You know, I, I, I really love to see them... Uh, a little bit in action because when you see them inside the frag they were like come on come yeah on, focus very yeah. serious yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah focus but very out, serious i hate the, that especially with this tournament alex the major the majors are the biggest tournaments in counter-strike and so it means so much for these players for the prestige the money but also for future sponsorships for future opportunities this is oh, sort of life-changing money. Life -changing mo it's life-changing money that these players can win. And, you know, we've seen it with recent Brazilian squads or um, CIS teams. You know, a lot of these players, they, they might ha have grown up with a computer, but it's not like they grew up wealthy or well-off. It, it, it is – esports is still very much um, – uh, anyone can play it and become the best. It, you don't need, you know, $1,000 PCs or whatever to sort of – get in the games. So yeah, I, I really enjoy to, hearing those stories. You still stories, need to like train football. every single... You still need to train every single day for three, four hours. You still need to focus. You need, it's like yeah. uh, playing uh, football or playing tennis, you know. But uh, you are on your computer. You're, you're damaging your eyes to become the best uh, in the industry, you know. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is why I'm uh, wearing uh, glasses because I was playing a lot of Counter-Strike when I was small. Yeah, that's me too. I, I had to have a uh, LASIK eye surgery because it, it was the same deal with me. My eyes, uh, too much time. Oops. Sorry, that's sad. Wow. Uh, too much time in uh, front of the this screen. Is, this is Eric uh, with uh, his uh, MotoGP uh, next yeah. to your flat, right? <laughs> He's showing up to my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, all right, listen, shall we, we, got, the, shall we talk uh, about matches? Major, uh, one of the best, uh, the biggest tournaments of the year. Uh, we a lot of qualifying groups: Americas Minor, Europe Minor, CS, C, A, C, I, S Minor, Asta Minor. Uh, all of them uh, qualifying uh, uh, for Berlin. But today we are talking about uh, Europe Minor, the qualification mm -hmm. for uh, Berlin, and. Uh, uh, just uh, before we talk about uh, some uh, uh, future markets and some outright markets, uh, please, uh, in 10 minutes, we have a, a match. North versus Fnatic. Yes. And uh, do it, tell us if you have uh, something uh, for that match. North at 1.68, Fnatic at 2.15, map advantage, North minus 1.5, 2.74. Great odds, but... Do you think that uh, Fnatic yeah. uh, can uh, cover the plus 1.5 uh, low odds there at 1.45? It's like the, all day I've been working here, it's been dead quiet. And right now two motorcycles are ripping by my window. Um, so I, I haven't placed anything yet. The lines just went up for it. It's starting in, yeah, like you said, five or ten minutes. Um, well, let's just look at a couple of stats right now. Um, so Fnatic, so North dominated big on Dust2. They looked excellent. They looked um, composed. They were working off each other on both sides. Um, I was really impressed with them. I think they have more firepower maybe than Fnatic right now. Um, I do like them to win. That, that price is a bit shorter than I would like, though. I a 1.8 would have been ideal. Um, I'm seeing the best line at Bet Online right now. Maybe Pinnacle is something better. Um, oh, here we go. Pinnacle North 1.8. Okay, I'm just gonna hit. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna place that right now because I'm worried it's gonna start before or drop before um, you get to. So uh, All right. uh, the best. Okay, so I'm far, taking can... North 1.79. So 1.79 at, 9. 9. 1. 9 at oh, Pinnacle. That's... Yeah. And what do you have for over 2.5 uh, uh, maps? In the match, I have 2.05, the best odds right now I can find. Yeah. See, the tr uh, I haven't been able to... I don't have the time right now to look at the specific maps that they're likely to choose. Um, I think that if North go to Dust2, which they should, they, it's been a good map for them for a long time, um, they'll take that. 
Fnatic, I like their CT side Mirage. Fnatic has had good CT sides on pretty much every map. Um, the problem for them is their T side, sometimes they just look like the players aren't on the same page. Even just now, it looked as though they were going to allow a comeback of sorts. So against Ancient. Um, let's see, some of the recent maps that they've performed well on. Inferno. Uh, they beat MIBR. They also lost to Renegades. Honestly, I, I'm I'm going to stick with the North Moneyline bet. I'm not going to take a pick on the over two and a half. Okay, North money line at 1.79 with Pinnacle right now. Uh, starting in five minutes, lock it in because Adam loves the play. Uh, well, just so you know, about... like Bet365 has it at 1.57. You know, it, Bet Online 1.68. Yeah. Get it for a better price. I, I, 1.57 is terrible number on North, you know? Uh, it's, going, um, it's going up. It's going up on the side that I, I, I'm in right now. I'm on right yep. now at from 1.68 to 1.72 and going up. That's a great uh, yeah. uh, thing. Maybe because they are choosing the maps right now or something. I'm really not sure. Uh, but well, also, also but because the, you know, Fnatic, Fnatic in North, they're, they're not that... Um, they're not that far apart in skill level and performance, you know, in the last couple of months. North can be very inconsistent at times. So I'm, I, I do like a 1.8, even maybe down to 1.75. Um, but going below that, paying short odds on North, it, it, it could definitely go to a third map here. Fnatic has excellent CT sides. They've got experienced players, young talent. So... You know, don't be paying too much chalk on uh, on North here. Uh, the the only problem is that we don't have a lot of uh, markets for tomorrow's matches, uh, but the European yeah. qualifiers uh, is uh, going uh, on are going on till the end of the week. Uh, eight teams are sitting between ten and thirty in the world, with uh, four of them uh, having won uh, a LAN in the past year, while three of them have been runner-ups, reading from Adam's great uh, uh, article from oddsmarket.com. Uh, you can check all his articles and all the rest of the articles from our experts. We have from football to tennis to golf to whatever, darts, you name it. We have it because we are pros. Um, you were... Uh, you didn't talk about uh, uh, futures market uh, uh, for uh, yeah. this uh, on your article. Do you have uh, something in your mind right now? Because uh, no, and and I'll tell I'll, you, I'll no, tell you no. why. Because we saw we saw today, Mouse Sports, who was the favorite to win this regional qualifier, they lost to No Chance, which is the biggest underdog, probably maybe other than Sprout at this qualifier, and. It, it, it The European region, the best and worst, I've said this all throughout the year, they're really not that far apart. You do not want to be paying for pricey, pricey favorites um, again and again. You know, if you if you think you have an edge on a particular favorite, fair enough. Um, but most sports, I think the round differential was six and a half rounds um, advantage to most sports, and they lost straight up in a best of one. So... I'm not saying most sports can't still come back and win, but they looked uh, they didn't look like the team deserving of the price they were given, let's say that much. But as far as um, outrights, I'm not playing them for the North American and Europe regionals, but I am looking into them for CIS and Asia. Okay, Next also week. BIG against uh, North today. Uh, they, they had live, I think, that they were at plus 6.5. And uh, they lost badly. Uh, badly. So yeah, it's uh, it's pretty damn g tough to 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 bet uh, on uh, these qualifiers because because most of the uh, teams uh, are trying to uh, win a spot to uh, for Berlin and they are giving right. everything uh, they have, you know. So yeah, yeah, maybe it's good to to stay away from uh, some of them and concentrate only on specific ones that you know mm -hmm. them. Uh, very good. You know what maps they are uh, they are choosing. You know their uh, uh, capability and their opponent's capability on those uh, maps. 
So yeah, anything, uh, anything else you want to add for uh, today or for tomorrow's matches or for the Europe qualifiers in general? Well, you know, I've, I'm already seeing a price up here for Mo Sports versus Sprout. Um, you know, I, I really don't like Sprout. <laughs> I said that in the article. <laughs> I, I watched them. I've probably watched Sprout more Sprout matches than anybody I know over the past year. Honestly, they, they play a lot of Counter-Strike, a lot of online qualifiers, online leagues, because they, they don't get very far. So they're constantly having to go through the qualifying process. And, you know, they burned me by covering against uh, Crazy earlier, you know, barely covering the spread. It was a joke. Um, but, again... I, I look at them and they're being, being given almost no respect against the most sports that is the outright favorite to win it. So I, I, I'm going to have to break that one down. The, that match is until tomorrow at 3 p.m. So 3 p.m. my time, uh, what, 10, 10 a.m. Eastern. So I'll, I'll be, you know, I, I like the high volume, so I will be putting something down for that. Um, but I haven't made a play for it yet. Yeah, you're posting a lot of uh, plays uh, on your Twitter. You are a volume player like I am. For me, it's just the beginning of the season. Just four matches uh, so far this week. Three and one. A great week nice. so far. And uh, three locked uh, plays uh, uh, already for the weekend. Uh, did you, did you play something today, there. Alex? Yes, I've played uh, something today and it won after 25 minutes in the game. Oh, uh, I'm, nice. I'm sorry it was uh, too, too, too fast for, uh, for you guys. Uh, next time I'll <laughs> do my best to, to, to make it possible to be, to be in the 90th minute, you know, the, the yeah. Alex's <laughs> last minute goal. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh -huh. thank you, Adam, for joining me. Um, see you uh, this week. I don't know exactly when I will see you, but uh, I will be able to, te to tell everyone on Friday. Um, when you will come uh, uh, on our show. Maybe next week, maybe in two weeks. Uh, when is the Berlin uh, Major? Um, so Berlin Major, I think, is the tw 25th, I want to say. It's somewhere near... I've got it here. One second. Oh, that's not it. There because we go. Uh, that uh, should be a very good uh, tournament okay, to so cover. Okay, uh, the, the so the qualifier is the 23rd. So, so this is the regional qualifier. Teams then go from here to the main qualifier called the challenger stage. From that stage, they've then, if the, I think it's the top eight teams, progress from the challenger stage from the 23rd to 26th to the official event. And that's on the 28th. So the whole process, I mean, I started posting bets for the Berlin Major two months ago, maybe, I think. It's it's a huge road. And so the teams that get there, they're deserving. They've gone through a lot. We also get so much information on them. But uh, we're another month away from the, uh, the grand final. Peace. Peace. Peace out. Uh, take care. Best of luck with your bets. See you on Twitter with... Uh, and um, I, I think I hope that everyone can follow you uh, for uh, for your great uh, uh, bets and for your great records. See you around. Best of luck. Take care.